Thank you. Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, fellow African brothers and sisters, good evening. And thank you for coming and happy Africa Day. Special thanks to the African Union, represented by the Ambassador Antonio, for their valuable partnership with UPF. More thanks to the African Ambassador Spouses Group for providing our delicious meal tonight and helping to organize this event with us. UPF chapters throughout the world celebrated Africa Day last week, and the ce celebration continue to be with Africans in the diaspora. Some of the topics discussed were freedom, democracy, human rights, culture, sports, health, education, and partnership. We are proud of the deliverables from our partnership with AU. One week, one week after last year's celebration of Africa Day, UPF and AU signed a memorandum of understanding in Addis Ababa. Based on that MOU, UPF introduced groups of donors who travel to Africa and pledge their monetary support for the eradication of a sleeping sickness in at least three affected countries. Moreover, our donors' pledges to build 1,000 schools throughout Africa. They already started building in five countries. And as I speak now, a team of donors are traveling to Kenya, Malawi, Rwanda, and South Africa to prepare for building more schools. Thank you. In June, more donors will attend the AU Summit and bring their contributions to PATIC. In July, Dr. Thomas Walsh, the president of UPF, and myself are planning to travel to four countries in Africa to meet with the officials over there. We are offering additional seminars and symposium of character education for youth and good governance for parliamentarians, building on a strong foundation of UPF previous conferences all over Africa. UPF service projects for youth cover most regions in Africa. HIV AIDS educational program reach millions. Thousands of good men and women are assigned as ambassador for peace, including the current president of Nigeria. A special, yes, a special delegations from UPF were sent from USA for the president inaugurations two days ago. <clears throat> this year, the president of Ethiopia was given peace medal award by UPF. Well, that's enough for now. Let us celebrate together and determine to join with Africans, to join with Africans in the diaspora to educate and empower the youth leaders of the future and the present. Let Africa develop and shine with the light of knowledge and experiences we all acquired in the diaspora. Let me finish with some words from the founders of UPF. Those who receive the light will be indebted to the light. Please give and give and give and forgive that you have given in the heart of a parent and the shoes of a servant. Thank you very much for your attention.